Hey guys, it's Nicola. Um, sorry for how dark my video looks. I cannot do anything about that. Let's change the, the exposure. Alright, so anyway, um, I did an un unboxing a minute ago for the new cards that I'll be using this week. They're the original tarot by Debray or Debris. I'm, I'm unsure how to pronounce this name, but <laughs> I am reviewing this deck. These I'm reviewing this tarot deck this week. Um, the link to this deck is in the description if you guys would like to purchase it. Um, for, so far, so good. I love the way the deck feels. The colors are very vibrant. And you know, I'm, I'm really big on how the decks look and how they feel because, I mean, I'm using them every day. I want to know what I'm looking at or I want to be happy with what I'm looking at as well as what I'm feeling and I love the way these cards feel they're not flimsy they are they feel sturdy they feel like cards like actual cards all right so let's see here and like I said actually blah, 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 blah. getting above my shelf here getting ahead of myself I gotta do your uh your 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 guidance first but like I said I did a um unboxing bit my volume, I mean, my um, microphone had went out. So I can, there's, I mean, if I release it, you're probably not going to hear anything. You're just going to see me. I'm sure y'all don't want to see that. Y'all want to hear me say something. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And like I said, I'll be reviewing that deck all week. And if I like it, I'll continue to use it. Um, so far, so good, though. <laughs> let's see what messages do we have. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for April the 21st, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April 21st, 2020. Okay. What guidance do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages. Damn, Gemini. We got three. So the first one was goddess of psychic protection it says what you believe you create no one can harm you the next card we have is angel of healing it says the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing and we also have angel of self-worth it says you are currently undervaluing yourself it's time to regain your self-worth all right gemini so for what i'm getting gemini y'all need to heal y'all could be needing to clear your mind understand that whatever you create is your environment this is your life you know you create your perspective here um really take some time to focus on nurturing and loving yourself and and raise your self-worth i feel like for a lot of you guys you're really undervaluing yourself what messages do we have for libra some rising and venus messages guidance for libra we got two. So the first one we have is Angel of Manifestation. It says your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. We also have Goddess of Awakening. It says this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, we have two. Y'all got all the messages. First one we have is Angel of Diet and Nutrition. It says pay attention to what you eat and drink. You, you intuitively know what is good for you. We also have God of Reflections. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. The underlying message we have is Goddess of the Sacred Path. We have Goddess of the Sacred Path. It says let go of logic and trust your intuition. That's not right. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Solomon Rising and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Solomon Rising and Venus. This is for April the 21st, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Solomon Rising and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Solomon Rising and Venus. This is for April the 21st, 2020. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Solomon Rising and Venus. All right, we got the underlying energy six of swords. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about you being able to take control, emperor under here, and move forward. I like these cards. <laughs> it's something different about them. I like them. I like them a lot. 
All right, so we have the Five of Wands here. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with some conflict, maybe needing to fight off some opposition. Could be dealing with some bothersome details or maybe even some competition. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, you could be in, a, in the space of being conflicted about a new opportunity that you have to move forward. But there is there's some fighting here. Some of y'all doing some battling, some conflict, some battling. I feel like you need to move forward. If you're dealing with conflict, if you're dealing with a lot of bullshit you need to move forward page of pentacles this is about seeing your value some of you guys really need to see the value you need to change your perspective around the situation it may be time for you to let go of things that create challenges within your life um you're worth more than constantly have if you got to fight for if you constantly got to fight for something maybe you don't need it i'm sorry um, but I feel like this is the message. Like you could be constantly in battle, constantly fighting for something that may not even be in the best interest for you. It may be a lot of competition in regards to the situation. Um, it may make you question your own motives. Some of you guys may need to question your own motives. Like why do I, why am I continuing to stay in this conflicting type of energy or conflicting type of situation? It may be time for you to kind of pick up and move forward. You feel me? Let's see what got it. I mean, let's see what, what, let's clarify. That's what I mean. Let's clarify. The change going to start with you. So if you want to change, you the one that got to move forward. Like, if you decide to stay, you're going to continue to live in this bullshit. All right. So let's see here. You got to see your own value. That I'm, I mean, these messages are really, this message is really coming out in this. You got to see your own value. You got to see the value in moving away from the conflict. Um, for a lot of you guys, the reason why you're staying because you feel like because your sense of self-worth is so low, you feel like everything that you want in life, you got to fight for, but you don't. What's meant for you will be for you. You don't have to fucking fight for it. Um, you do have to make the right decisions to get there, but you don't have to fucking fight for it. Five of Wands here. Why is this Five of Wands here? We got the Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Wheel of I'm trying to tell you. Some of you guys need to be enthusiastic about creating change. I feel like there can be some harmonious change if you, if you, def not defend yourself. Because um, I, I, don't, I don't feel like this is about fighting. I feel like if you create the change for yourself, if you end the conflict, um, stop trying to be in competition with people. Because I feel like this is a competition. Like, I feel like, and I'm going to be real with you, I feel like this is a um you're not gonna beat me type of situation but i think i spoke on this last week <sighs> what you really losing except a bunch of bullshit let that shit go like moses say let my people go some of y'all y'all need to just let this shit go move forward on, move on with your life because whatever this is it's a lot of bullshit two of pentacles means a lot of shit going on five of wands means conflict box some details a bunch of bullshit so some of y'all dealing with a bunch of bullshit and in order for y'all to get out of that bullshit you got to make the change you have to choose to move toward peace in your life you have to choose to be happy you can't if you choose to stay in a situation just because you lack the confidence of moving forward you're choosing to accept these challenges are these this bullshit in your life you have to see the value of you being able to live in peace six of pentacles this is about creating balance within so some of you guys you have to make this decision the change is going to begin with you ace of wands here in the past energy i feel like with the queen of wands you have an opportunity to move forward but a lot of you guys magician seven of cups you're confused you have this I feel like you've even went through a, a transformation within this situation, meaning there has been an end within whatever this is. For some of you guys, it's good to be done with family. I'm not exactly getting what it's from. So it, it, it can even be just conflict within yourself. You're just conflicted about moving forward in your life and becoming a different person. Whatever this is, there's a lot of drama involved. There's a lot of bullshit involved. There's a lot of questionable motives, questionable motives involved some perspectives need to be changed some of you guys are in suspension because you don't see your own value you don't see the value in you being able to move out of suspension and move toward peace for yourself so with this queen of wands and magician some of y'all need to stop underestimating yourself you have all the tools necessary to move toward a new life to move toward a new beginning for yourself but because you're seven of cups confused emotionally about some things you're allowing yourself to stay in some conflicting situations the transformation comes within you sometimes you have to detach from your emotions not detach from your actual energy your intuition not from your heart 
detach it from your heart and detach it from your emotions are two different things yes follow your heart follow what you feel within your heart but not follow your emotions your emotions cloud your judgment so for a lot of you guys you do need to detach from your feelings like get out your feelings and make a decision for yourself five of wands in the surrounding energy we have the three of cups with the four of pentacles yeah some of you guys i feel like you're holding on to a situation four of pentacles three of cups this could be not for i'm gonna be real with you I don't know if this is a third party or if this is just something that's on an on the opposition to your own happiness, meaning something that is opposing you being happy. You're holding on to it out of anxiety. Nine swords, three of cups, four of three of cups, four of pentacles, nine of swords. And I feel like with the five of swords that is telling you that you're making an unwise decision. You could also be dealing with someone that's holding on to you as well as other people. And you're making an unwise decision by allowing this energy into your life. Ace of swords, 10 of wands. You know that this is a burden. You know that this is oppressing you. You know, you need to let it go and move forward. Page of pentacles here. Y'all, you know, I don't, I don't be trying to preach to the choir here, but if you know that you're in a bad situation, the only thing that's going to get you out is you making the decision to move. Like God ain't going to move you. He going to let you stay there as long as you feel like you, that's where you need to be. And you know that ain't where you need to be. So page of pentacles here with the chariot. Some of you guys need to see the value in moving forward. Need to see the victory in moving forward. You need to see that that's a win. For a lot of you guys, that's what's conflicting you. You feel like make, moving forward is an unwise choice because you feel like you're going to lose. But you're not going to lose anything but a hard ass, conflicting ass, burden smash time. A lot of you guys moving forward is going to grant you freedom, but you're so stuck in this. I got to have this or I need this or I don't want to look stupid if I leave. If I leave, fuck all that shit. You need to move forward. You need to be able to pick up your shit and go about your business. Whatever this is, King of Wands, some of you guys need to focus on moving away from this conflicting situation. Some of you guys are dealing with the situation that causes you to feel mentally defeated. And because you feel mentally defeated, you continue to make the wrong choices dealing with something. Let that shit go. Don't keep putting yourself in suspension. Don't keep sacrificing your own happiness just because you're afraid of losing out or you're afraid of moving away from something. Why is this hangman here? Why is this hangman here? We got the three of wands trying to have patience. So you're just in suspension trying to have patience here. Knight of swords. This is my thing. Because from what I'm getting right here, and this might, may not be for everybody. Some of you guys are waiting for either a commitment or somebody's hand in marriage or you're waiting for if this is a job you're waiting for a promotion but you think things change just because you get a higher position in whatever bullshit you've been dealing with listen you get a higher position in shit you still got shit so for a lot of you guys you just need to get out the shit you need to get out the mud and go towards some dry land go towards something that is going to flourish that is going to grow like you don't want to get in a higher position like you don't want to become king of the shit or king of you know the mud you want to get out of that shit. So for a lot of you guys, you're hanging around trying to have patience here, resisting moving forward here, resisting taking action out of your pride because you feel like you, there's something that you're you're supposed to gain. But you're only going to gain heartache through cooperating with this shit. You have to change your perspective and be able to find your strength to overcome this. It's not worth you wasting your time. You waste, listen, we got one life to live and you're going to waste your life waiting on somebody to give you something that you really don't even want. It's just your pride keeping you stuck. And, and, and like I said, I don't know if this is a job. I don't know if this is dealing with a family situation. I don't know if this is dealing with a relationship. Whatever it is, it's not worth you staying in, in place. It's not worth you putting your life on hold, being in suspension. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, what messages? We got communication here with compassion. What messages, what guidance do we have? Really, son? What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, guidance, Gemini, we have miracles. We got miracles in reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not seeing a miracle right now. I feel like you have the opportunity to create, you got co-creation here. You have the opportunity to weave a new life for yourself, to co-create a miracle in your life. But you have to make the decision to see it. Um, let's see what messages we have for Libra. What messages, what guidance? All right, Libra. We got knowledge in reverse. All these cards coming out in reverse. Some of y'all not using your knowledge. You're not using, you're not using your senses right now. In between, you're stuck in the in between, you're stuck in between your feelings, in between your thoughts, 
You gotta make some decisions. The change gonna start with you. So you choose what you want moving forward. Messages, guidance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What messages? All right, Aquarius. I'm gonna take this one over here. Communion. So this is about communi This is about being in communion with your higher self, being in communion with with God. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to really you feel it within your spirit. Like like the old folks say, I feel it within my spirit. You feel it within your spirit that you need to make some decisions. But because you're really trying to take your time, you're trying to make sure that you're making the right decision. You're clouded by your own feelings or your own judgments. Some of you guys not realizing or not seeing the value of your own true self, your higher self. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to trust what you feel. You need to trust your higher self, not your feelings, but trust your intuition. You know that it's time for you to make some changes. But if you don't, I mean... This is what you're choosing to live in. So the change going to start with you. That's all I got until tomorrow, y'all.